Hi guys, I'm Dan Aston. I'm here with Polish Pete, and uh, he's going to show you how to chew a wheel. Dobra, moje spadać teraz rad szczurze. Exactly. I'm going to show you how to chew a wheel today. Um, the only really tool you need is a spoke key. Uh, this one's pretty cool because it's got loads of different sizes on it, so you can use it for different um, wheels. I'm just going to show you the quick and easy way of doing it without taking the wheel out of the bike um, and the tire off. We basically, we start, you know, we spin the wheel, put the spoke key the closest to the rim possible, and there's an obvious, you know, ding, and the wheel, the rim is pulled to the left. Um, so, like, the main things you need to remember is if your wheel is pulled to the left, you want to pull it back to the right, so you should tension the drive side spokes. Um, if it's the other way around, obviously, you pull in the wheel to the non-drive side, so you're going to be tying these spokes. Um, I'm going to just have a look what's going on in here. Um, and check where from the wheel is, you know, buckled. Like this is pretty much the, the part of the wheel that we need to pull back this way towards me. Uh, so we're going to be tying in the drive side spokes. Uh, you can see this spoke is really loose already, so I'm just gonna give it a few turns, um, just because it's much looser than the other ones. Um, but normally you wouldn't want to go over half a turn, so I'm just gonna give them, you know, apart from that one, just give it half a turn on each. At the same time, you want to just make sure that these spokes are not super tight. Um, if they are, you can undo them a little bit, but in our in our case, it's not um, it's not happening yet. This uh, we still got a little bit of a buckle. We're just going to repeat the step, the same step, um, you know, half a turn at the time until the wheel goes back into shape. This this spoke was really loose, so I give it a little bit more, just like a full turn, and then it is half a turn. You never want to overdo it, that's why you just go with a little step, step at a time. Um, we got a wheel pulled a little bit to my side in this place. Um, I'm just gonna tighten this spoke to pull it that way. And because it's only, you know, a really um, small space between them, it's gonna be just one spoke. Um, so I'm just gonna give it half a turn. Oh, that is very close to where we want it. If you want to get it perfect, you would have to use, you know, throw in stand and you can spend hours doing it. But, um, you know, just for general riding, this is very close to where we want it to be. Here we are. That's it. As simple as that. For more tutorials like this one, head to silverlinetools.com.